Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Grid Road, the only game where the car follows your mouse so you can make a Carnado! Carnado t-shirt coming soon! Anyway, last time we did this, I got very stuck on the square about. And I think the trouble was, because I played so many games where the British way of driving left side is always wrong, I got confused with my square about. And I tried to make it go like the the wrong way round, basically. For reference, the, the original video it hasn't gone out yet, so I haven't seen your comments. I know I'm going to be absolutely slaughtered for it. But uh, now I've had time to sort of think about stuff, let's just go back and build a roundabout how it's meant to work. So basically, all these on-roads, they'll all have a left turn, so they end up down there. Like this one will say left turn up that way. This one, left turn down to there. It just makes so much more sense to go to go that direction. Why couldn't I see that when I played it the first time? All right, so then we just need to merge our traffic. So we can go straight ahead there. We can go right there. On this one, same. Straight ahead or right. Straight ahead, right. And then that should work how an actual roundabout works. <laughs> Although remember, it doesn't give way. So I'm not sure whether we'll beat our previous score. I have a feeling this will get locked up pretty quick still. I mean, to be fair, it's it's better. Although it's locked up, it is still moving. Okay, it's not still moving. But now, if I want to come back and add traffic lights, we can probably do that fairly easy. So I think I just want traffic lights to sort of limit how much traffic is on this. Well, I was going to say circular tree, but square look tree. So we'll see how this gets on. The sort of the phasing of the lights is just a little bit random at the moment. I should probably try and think of it sensibly. You can see though in the middle, not as much traffic. So I think going around the roundabout the right direction does actually help. I can't believe how American I was last episode. I forgot how roundabouts worked. <laughs> But yeah, bottom left, our score is going up. I'm not sure we're going to beat our last score, though. 2,000 to beat. No, we got 1875. Okay, but that's fine. We didn't fail, which is the main thing. So I reckon what I'm going to do, I'm going to have these. Yeah, these are the ones opposite. They're going to be on for the same same sort of phase. So I'm going to have three on, three off, three on, three off. Now, these are all second intervals, by the way. So... Basically, this light will be green for three seconds, then red for three seconds, green for three seconds, red for three. So yeah, the ones opposite, they're on the same. And then these ones opposite, they're the same as well. So we should see, yeah, can you see those corners are green, those are red, and then they swap so that these two should go green like that. The opposite corners stay red. I reckon this should, should work. Maybe, potentially. Oh no, it's clogging up. It's clogging up already. <laughs> Okay, maybe we need more red. They're, go they're all getting a bit... They're a bit keen to go on the square about. I know it is cool. Squares are pretty... You don't see them often. But yeah, that is clogged. So I think what I'll do... Let's reduce the amount of time that we're green. But sort of stagger these as well. So we've sort of got a point where only one light is on. Then a point where both are on. Then a point where just this one is on. Yeah, the middle bit of road isn't as clogged. So... Is this better? 1975. I didn't beat my score. <laughs> How have I got worse? Okay, well, the other thing I could do, I could I could add traffic lights on the roundabout. I don't really want to do that. I am just wondering. I'm pretty sure you can like you can do something like that. Let me just see if this works. But basically, let's follow let's follow this yellow car when this light goes green. Or maybe this red one. Yeah, if I move if I move that back to there and do that. I think what this will do, it will add like a bit of storage there. So the cars coming round the roundabout will turn up there and sort of wait there till they merge in. And that will allow the ones on on here, they should just be able to join up that lane. So if we follow this blue car, it goes up. Okay, yeah, that's good. I think that's good. So if I add this to every single arm, then we end up with that. And I mean, to be fair, I've sort of made the square about a little bit more circular. If you actually look at like the shape that the cars are driving around, they're cut in that corner. We've made more of a circle, which is the natural roundabout shape. I've got a good feeling about this one. I mean, look how look how little traffic there actually is on the middle island. Maybe I can change the lights back to how they were so there's more traffic on the middle. Because yeah, this is way better. This is actually better. Proof this is better. 2300. Nice. All right, so I've gone back to just the opposite corners go like on and off. Let's see whether this one works. I mean, to be fair, we're on 1200. We're only halfway through the time. It is getting clogged up. 
at times, but generally looking pretty good in my opinion. Oh, I'll tell you what, we're on for the dev score. We've beaten average Andy. We've beaten the dev. We've beaten the dev by 25 points. Back of the net. Oh man, I'm so pleased because I was I was pretty upset last time. Oh my goodness. Okay, this looks pretty pretty intense. This level's called merger. So what do we have? We've got red, blue, and yellow cars. They just want to get straight across. So that should be reasonably easy just to do that sort of thing. However, then we've got these crazy junctions. I'm wondering. Oh man, I don't. <laughs> I'm getting a bit confused. I'm getting a bit. There's a lot of laneage going on here. Let's just do. Let's do what we know. So we know yellow's pretty simple. Just go that way. Go right. Likewise, on this side, reds come straight down, merge in like that. So then we have the carnage of we've got to get yellow and blues down here. Oh, man, what? How do I cut across the reds? You need to be straight ahead. We're going to need traffic lights there. You need to be straight ahead. No, hang on, hang on. What am I doing here? Question, what would happen if I didn't actually do traffic lights just to start with? Like, can all the cars get to where they want to go? Let's just see if if that's true at first because i'm not sure like on, on like this lane a blue comes down oh it does just cut into the lane it wants to go in oh my goodness if you don't have traffic lights this is what happens <laughs> so this is a proper free for all and it's absolute carnage literally carnage get it cars carnage never mind never mind so adding traffic lights what i'm wondering if i were to let's just say we made these red for half the time but then everyone else you can all just come on whenever. I just want to see how much traffic backs up. Because basically, I want to get to a point where the traffic gets to about there. So when this goes green... Ooh, it's a good point. So basically, half the time is how long it takes for this to go from there to there in terms of the traffic length. So I never want this one to go red for any longer than that, basically. Right, you will have noticed, though, the rest of it was absolutely mental. Uh, I'm thinking if I do, like... If I do top for like half the time. So we got the first three seconds green. Then the rest is red. Same for that one. I might do the same for this side as well. So it looks something like that. I'll do the same on that one. And then these bottom ones. I'll do those three are green. So all these bottom ones. They're all on the same phase of just that. All the top ones. They're on the phase of just that. And then these straight ahead ones are half and half. So. Let's press start and see what happens. So the bottom ones are going. They do collide with each other a bit. They should go red soon. And then the straight throughs go. Top ones are shouting at me. Yeah, they failed. They failed. <laughs> That's fine though, because all I can do, I can sort of like half this. So I think we got three phases, right? So if I just for, if we do that, then that's on like a third of the time. So I'm just adding extra green onto all of these just so that these are on for a third of the time rather than a quarter. Right, okay, let's see how this works. So top arms, they go first, then the bottom arms go. There's a little bit of crossover. That should be fine. Then, then the straights go. Oh man, but the tops have failed already. Okay, so we need to... We basically need to double like when this happens. So if I were to get rid of that and put those down there, I think we just need like two seconds on, two seconds off. So I've basically half how long each one is on for. So we do like that sort of pattern. And down here, get rid of those two, turn on those two. Okay, I think we're good. I think that's the pattern we're going for. So again, should be top two arms. They, they start green. Then, oh no, then they all go red. Nope. <laughs> Okay, so it should be top two arms, they go green, then the bottom two arms go green, and then the left arms should go green. Then it goes back to the top two arms going green. Yes, okay, this might be how you do this. Might be in the keyword. That middle road's getting them pretty busy. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not... Oh, is this... Is it good? Whenever I think it's not good, it seems to, like, actually work. There's a lot of warning signs shouting at me. How far through the time are we? We're halfway through. Score's pretty good, but there are these warning symbols, which I don't think are gonna last. That left arm is now moving. The top ones are screaming at me. I can hear the horns all honking. The bottom... Right, come on. We've nearly made it. If we actually make this... We've smashed the dev. Absolutely rinsed him. First time I beat average Andy. I beat the dev. 
fair play, Matt. Pat on the back for you. Um, and by the way, I have actually, the dev got in contact with me. He told me if I press Alt Zero Boost, then we actually see the dev solution. So it looks like exactly the same layout. What did they do with traffic lights? Okay, so they add just a single on on those. Were all the top arms the same? I think they... Oh no, they weren't. Okay, okay, they're slightly different. So let's just press play. We can see how this works. So they start green. Then everything goes red. Then those two go green. Then those two go green. Then they go green. So then we do everything red. But yeah, that allows traffic to get off this middle road. I mean, still a bit of carnage down here. But yeah, that's how that's how the dev did it. They got 4,080. I was going to say probably not as much traffic on the middle, but <laughs> it is still, it's just as carnage as mine. But yeah, mine got way higher score. So sweet. Anyway, we'll go into the next level. Oh my goodness. It's called Giga and it really is Giga. Right, where do I even start? start with it. I mean to be fair I'm sort of thinking like freeways what would I do in freeways and in freeways I'd just do a roundabout because yeah we've got eight different colors of car and then yeah that's why we've got eight arms because they all want to go off okay so let's just put the roads in so I'm literally just going from every on straight ahead the ultimate square about how much oh I got so much budget I could buy a house rather than build a roundabout. I tell you what, what if I were to just like go absolutely mental and just do like super mega. What if we do that? Then we just make this a roundabout by saying you go left, you go left. Yeah, these ones, they need to be straight or the option of going left. So straight option of going left because that's the orange card to get to the orange flag. You've got to go straight. Whereas these ones, they've all got to go that way. Okay, so I think all the on roads are done. We've then just got to get people off. So this one, I want to do that or that. Then that one and that one going that way, right? So straight ahead or left. Everyone else right? I'm not sure how this is going to go <laughs> This is a giga roundabout. I am, I'm confused. Not going to lie. Right, okay, we're nearly done, but it's saying from that arm, a red car can't get to where it needs to go to. So where is the red flag? What's oh, there? Why do you need to go all the way around? Okay, so it goes up. It can go right. Oh, so it can't merge into like a lane on the left. Ugh. I've got a hundred grand remaining. Oh, is it because I, I did that arrow wrong? You're meant to be there and that way, right? Yeah, okay, so now everyone can make it. Okay, we press start and we let the carnage commence. American roundabout simulator, go! <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> that went literally as well as I expected it to. Okay, so how did we solve the square about before? It was by putting traffic lights on the ons, wasn't it? And I think we did half the time for like each of these. And then we did like the opposite corner the same. The trouble is there's like, there's double the amount of arms. So every traffic light on screen now, they all go green for three seconds, then red for three seconds, then green, red, etc. So I think what I want to do while these ones are green, cars are coming down here. I want to make these ones red. So you do red for three, green for three, like basically the opposite. So that should be good. I'll then do the same for all the other arms basically coming on. So red for three, green for three, red for three, green for three. And then in the middle, that's just going to be a free for all. So let's press start on this and you can sort of see the pattern. So those ones are green and then it should change so all the opposite ones are green. And I'm hoping there's enough Oh, I was going to say that <laughs> I was, I was gonna, oh dear, I've made it worse. I've literally made it worse. Yeah, I was gonna hope there was enough like space on the middle that everyone can sort of get a go. Oh, I think what I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to stagger these all a bit, aren't we? I mean, I'm not even sure roundabout is the way to do this. I've got 92 grand remaining, but right, I've got it set up. So it's just, everything is red constantly. So what I wanna do Let's say we start here. So you go green for one. And then I'll try and do the opposite one. So you go green for the same one. You go green for the same one. You go green for the same one. So if we just watch that, you can see those four are green. Everything goes off for three seconds. So after this one's gone green, I reckon maybe the lane next to it should go green like that. So we'll do the same for all of these. So all those ones do that. So basically that one goes, then that one goes, then I reckon I'll just do that one, then that one. So that's number three. You're number three. 
you're number three, and you're number three. And then the, just the straight ahead ones, they're number four. So let's press start and see what happens. There is going to be a phase where they're all red at the end, but I just want to see whether like the movement in the middle is too much. So let's see how it works this time. I'm hoping just letting on a smaller amount of traffic into the middle will keep stuff flowing. It's, oh man, it's not great. There's warning signs on nearly every arm and the middle's clogged up. I don't think a roundabout is the way to do this level. So delete all that. What else can we do? I mean, actually, could I... I could get that sort of thing in. Like maybe just adding lanes is what I meant to do. So you guys go left. If you want to go straight ahead, you can. If you want to go left, you can. Everyone needs to go right. Like down sort of that way. Wait, have I done... I feel like I may have done too many lanes. Don't know. Yeah, right. So you can go left or straight. Everyone else is just going straight until that point where they go right. Okay, this could work potentially, maybe. But yeah, basically we're just doing the same sort of pattern around every arm, which I think looks something like that, right? You can't get to where. Okay, you're great. Oh, yeah, because I forgot to put that arrow on. Okay, so that is everything. Oops. Once I add those arms and do that and the same for down the bottom. Man, there's so many arms. There's so many arms. I forgot so much. Okay, four lane roundabout. Sorry, square about. Because then there's less traffic getting in the way of each other. Oh, man, it's carnage. It is carnage. Look at it. Look how carnage it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right. In the absence of giveaway lines, I feel like this could be where the traffic lights come in to their own. So we want traffic lights coming on to every every arm. And then it's just a case of what, what sort of pattern do I do? I reckon right, there's eight different arms. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve different things. Twelve divided by eight does not work out very well. Quick mess. But I guess I could divide by four four because there's sort of four i mean there's eight arms that we could do four so if we do on every four seconds that that could work so we'll do that the adjacent one will do like the next the sort of next one the earlier one will do the next one again and after that we'll do the next one again so basically if you follow this green one we start one o'clock then two o'clock then three o'clock yeah then four o'clock so one, two, three, four is where we start on the green. If we then do that from all the other arms, so this one, one, two, three, four. At the bottom, one, two, three, four. And that at the left side, one, two, three, four. Then we should get a nice sort of continuous bit of traffic coming on. Okay, so if we watch this, you can see where the greens are. They all move like around anti-clockwise every single time. I reckon I may have cracked this. I may have cracked this. I don't want to get cocky because traffic on the roundabout is building up. What are you doing? Did you see that turquoise car blocking everyone up? What an architect. Stop driving like an architect, man. That, that yellow car is doing the same. What are you doing out there? Just blocked all those reds. Yeah, we failed. We, <laughs> we failed. All right, I do still have 60 grand. I am just wondering, is it worth like trying to swap some of these rounds? So if I swap that one maybe for just like a right hand turn, that will only be silvers in that car, like the gray color, like, rather than having straight ahead as well. Do I think that will be better? Potentially. Let's try it because I feel like my traffic lights for the on is pretty good. It might just be if I stop the through roads, then like more of the middle lanes will get used and then there's more space. So that will stop like the, the outer cars cutting people up. So let's give this a go and hopefully we'll see less like collisions around the edge because there's less sort of through traffic. Like if you look down the bottom, like the, where the red's coming down, no one's going straight through there anymore. And yeah, tell you what. I tell you what, seems to be working a little bit better. I mean, it's still, <laughs> it's still not great, but we haven't failed yet. What's our score? 1200 ish. Oh no, it's clogged. It's completely clogged. Oh, because that orange car. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. How can I, <laughs> how can I make this better? Should I add the option of straight ahead there? I feel like that's just going to cut everyone up because that's cutting across like four lanes. But I don't know. I guess it's worth a try. We've got to try some stuff here. So if you're not trial and erroring, are you even engineering? Don't don't answer that. Anyway, if you look down here, you can see the greens coming down, completely cutting off everyone. 
not sure this has helped anything. No, it's carnage. It's carnage. It's official. We've got to try some stuff here. Because if you're not trial and erroring, are you even engineering? Don't don't answer that. Can I add more lanes? As I've got extra money, is it worth trying? Just <laughs> just to see if it, it it might help. I mean, why why stop there? Why stop there? Just keep adding lanes. All right. If that doesn't solve everything, I don't know what will. <laughs> the ultimate giga roundabout. I mean, is anyone actually going anywhere near those middle arms? Or oh, actually, that that red car did. Some cars are actually using it. Am I actually secretly a genius? Have I just solved this? Uh, looking at the bottom, that'll be a no. Yeah, that's a fail. Right, I'll tell you what, actually. Let's delete everything. Let's see what the dev did. I am intrigued to see how you're meant to complete this one. So, alt, zero. Okay, looking very similar to what I had. We got the four-lane mega roundabout. What have we got? One second... Oh, the same. Okay, one second, one second. They're on two second. Are the ones opposite? One and two. One, two. Yes. Three. Okay, that's four. That's three. Okay, so I think traffic lights and sort of layout pretty much identical to what I tried earlier. They've probably got like different arrows going on. So let's just press start and just see how it works. So, on oh yeah, only two traffic lights are on at once. That's, that is what I did. I'm, like, I'm looking at the arrows. It does look very, very similar to what I did. Some little lane movement I sort of missed or something. But uh, yeah, I guess I guess the circular tree or the square tree in the in the middle, it's not getting too clogged. Although, oi, oi, what's happened down here? Orange car, blue car. How are they going to... They're not going to fix themselves. They're literally... It failed. Uh, developer, your, your solution failed. <laughs> Was it meant to do that? Man, if the developer can't even beat this level, how am I going to do it? I wonder if I change like one and then make that one two and then make this one a one. Is that enough to try and do this? So you can see it basically up the top. We Oh, no, it doesn't look better. Actually, it looks worse. It looks a lot worse. Yeah, look, we've got this crap. When that crash happens, it's game over. Okay, let's see whether this will work. <laughs> I'm just trying to remove one crash from the game. Oh, man, it's carnage. It's carnage in the top right. No, it's happened there. Oh, how did it happen there? Well, thankfully, I can still drive this little car because <laughs> I can't complete that last level. And hopefully you guys have new respect for traffic lights and highway engineers like myself. Uh, but for now, I'll say peace, love and carnados. Bye, guys.